Right, on to the part three part now. Uh, let's just go through this stuff here. So you've got three half an hour videos. Right, Povetkin. We know he's shorter, don't we? Then uh, Joshua. Where's he going, Povetkin? Where is he going in his career? You know, he's fighting Joshua. That's where he's going, isn't he? But the uh, way I look at it is this, he's going to get mowed down. He's an easy fight for Joshua, so why couldn't they get the... Why couldn't they get a better fight for Joshua than him? Why can't they get Wilder? There's only one fight the fans want to see, isn't there, really? And that's Wilder, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Wilder's the only, only, only one they want to see. They don't want to see... Uh, anything else do they we don't want to see anything else except that do we that's how I look at it but uh, well, it is what it is isn't it it's just one of them things isn't it there's no we can do is there there's no we, what, no, we can there's nothing we can say or do that's going to change that is there they're going to fight aren't they Povetkin and, and uh, Povetkin and Joshua are going to fight. Wilder, I don't think they want that fight, do they? 455 days. Do you know what I mean? 455 days. That's craziness. That is utter, utter craziness for the fight not to happen. But, Kel Brook, what is going to happen to Kel Brook now? What's going to happen to Kel Brook? Hey, eh? What's going to happen to Kel Brook? Where's he going? Where is Kel Brook going? Hey, eh? Where's Kel Brook's career going? He's like on hold for Amir Khan, isn't it? And Eddie's trying to make the Manny Pacquiao fight, which Amir wants, which is a pay-per-view fight in England. At 147. So Kel's not in mix, is he really? He's like become the forgotten man, isn't he? He's become like a spare part, hasn't he? Kel Brooks become a guy at the Ingalls gym now who, where people are saying, Who's that guy stood behind Billy Joe Saunders? Oh, it's Kel Brook. A bit like, Who's the big guy stood behind Errol Graham? Oh, it's Johnny Nelson. Kel Brook has become the Johnny Nelson of the Ingle gym in the early 80s, hasn't he? When Bomber Graham was the king. You know, and then as years went by, people used to say, who's, the, who's that guy stood behind Nazim Hamid, the big guy? Oh, that was Johnny Nelson. <laughs> in fact, Johnny Nelson's been stood behind everybody. Who's that guy stood behind Ryan Rhodes? Johnny Nelson. <laughs> hey, we're hammering Johnny Nelson today, but he needs hammering, doesn't he? Joe Joyce against Nick Webb. Has Joe Joyce signed the fight? Well, we don't know. We don't know, do we? But, uh, anyway, I think we need to talk about last night's boxing, don't we? What about that then, eh? eh but we first, we, before we do, I just want to point out and then I want to put an end to this. Povetkin hasn't got a prayer against Joshua. And he's fighting for a third of the money that Vladimir got. So Povetkin's on a third of the money Vladimir got at Wembley. A third of that money. But yet it's the same 90,000 sellout. And it'll probably, well they're hoping the same pay-per-views. So, where's all that other money going? Is it going to Joshua? Or is it going to Eddie Hearn? And Sky? Because, when you've got people like Takam and Povetkin fighting for that kind of money, some pe somebody's creaming it at the top, aren't they? You know? And what is Stubbub's role now with Eddie Hearn? Everybody seems to be going quiet on Stubbub. Why doesn't Coogan Cassius ask questions about Stubbub why don't he ask the proper questions 
Why not? When Eddie gives him a solid answer or tells him off, he turns it into banter. Ah, oh, but it's only banter, isn't it? It's only banter, isn't it? Eddie, fans are not happy about Stubbub. Why? It's our, it's our, uh, it's our, it's our, our partner. They do a good job. Oh, I'm only asking Eddie. I'm only asking Eddie. Sorry, Eddie. Coogan, start asking the proper questions. You are a kiss ass. You kiss Tyson's ass and you kiss Eddie's ass. You kiss Billy Joe's ass and Frank Warren's. You're a kiss ass. Start asking the proper questions. That's what I, that's what I want to know. But are we here to fund Eddie Earns' US project? I mean, what what what's going on? What is going on with this Dazone? Why has Eddie Earn gone to Dazone? Why? Why has he done that? Why? Why is Eddie Hearn at Dazon? Come on, Povetkin's just gone life and death. With David Price, and he's going to be on Dazon with Joshua. That's going to be his opening show. The, the headline act, Joshua, against a guy 39 year old. Tackham, 37. Vladimir, 41. How many more old guys does Joshua want to dig up? So does that mean if David Price had beat Povetkin, would he have been fighting Joshua? Because to fight in anybody, not to fight Wilder. Deontay Wilder, in my opinion, is best heavyweight in the world. Anthony Joshua didn't beat the man who beat the man. He's got two belts that were vacant and he got two belts of Martin and Parker who would not beat a champion but yet they're known as former champions how can you be known as a former champion if you've not beat a champion Joshua's about as fake as a hobby horse with a wooden dick do you know what I mean and I am missing going out for a beer but if I go out for a beer I end up partying don't I so I need to stick to training and stick to doing my videos and stick to flogging cars, don't I? I don't need to stick to partying, but uh, I need to be sober. Porky is sober. Spread the gospel, and it's killing him. Porky's got Porky's sober, and it's killing him, but it's good, isn't it? Because you get on with everybody better. You see things a bit clearer, don't you? Look at these horrible tweets coming through from haters. Look at this one here. Hey? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to block him. God he's got a no he's got a nose bigger than a lamppost. Alright. Are Al Heyman and Bob Arum and Luda Bell are gonna help the zone? No. What has happened to Christopher Eubank? Well he's a substitute, isn't he? He's on a paid retainer to be back up in case Groves pulls out. So why did Eddie Hearn leak the news that Eubank were going to be on the white undercard and put Parker? Why do that? Why do that? <coughs> Knowing full well he won't be. Eddie Hearn, he'd love to sign Eubank, wouldn't he? Frank Smith, Eddie Hearn's right hand man, he's engaged to Emily Eubank, isn't he? So you, I can see Christopher Eubank going back to Matchroom. Don't you worry about that. They all keep it in-house there. You know, we, we know we know what goes on. We know how cosy Matchroom are with Robert McCracken at the EIS. And how cosy they are with the Sims family with all the commercial stuff. And Sky. It's all nice and cosy wosy, isn't it? So, Eubank will fight for Eddie Hearn after, after WBSS tournament. After Groves and uh, Callum Smith and Eubank debacles over Eubank will be signing with Sky well, that's the word anyway but the quality of the undercard on the Dillian White show is poor the quality on the Anthony Joshua Povetkin show will be poor but they should have a bit more money to pay for the poor money that they're giving uh, Povetkin because the last 90,000 sell at Wembley Vladimir took a big chunk of that didn't he well, Povetkin's getting nowhere near Vladimir's money. But, uh, <laughs> look at this one come through. Oh, what, hang on. 
Two seconds, I've been told to block people off my main pal. There you go, blocked. I'm blocking loads, aren't I? Blocked! Could set another one up. Oh, that must be off his other account. Same tweet. Same person, but on his other account. Blocked. I can't, I'm not, I can't, I can't even be left alone to do a video we are. Tweets. <laughs> How many accounts has this guy got? There you go. Locked. Uh, US fans get all matchroom content for a fifth of the price. UK fans pay. Sky subscription has pay-per-view. Got all greedy. Are we being fleeced? Yeah, if you're American, you're getting all the matchroom content for, for a $10 a month. If you're... An English UK fan, I don't know what it is in dollars, but you're paying a lot and you've got pay per view, so the Americans are getting a better deal than us, aren't they? It's not good, is it? Which brings me to everybody's favourite weightlifter, Anthony Joshua. Is he the biggest fraud in boxing? Is he the biggest coward? Yes and yes. Right, last night's boxing. I only want to talk about a couple of fights about last night. I wanted Gassiev to win because he was in my bet. They were good odds, but he got beat, didn't he? Now, you've got Tony Bellew. All you're going to see on IFL now is intense beef, Ersk Bellew. Ersk will beat Tony Bellew, but Gassiev didn't really have a plan B, did he? He just did the same thing all night, didn't he? So it was a pretty easy fight for Ersk, but Ersk hasn't got the power to trouble Joshua. Joshua will walk him down. He's not big enough to fight him. Will they put Ersk in with Joshua? I can see Kala Sauerland doing it. He's finished off more fighters than God knows what. Kala Sauerland and Eddie Hearn have got two things in common. They both like to party and they both like to throw fighters under a bus. Ask Brian Rose, ask Callum Johnson in a couple of months, ask Jamie McDonnell, ask Gav McDonnell in a couple of months, ask Lee Purdy, ask Paul Smith against Andre Ward, so ask Callum Sowland against, after Ersk fights Joshua, if he fights him, I don't think it'll be Ersk, I don't think uh, Wilder's going to sign, for not, for not for the money they're offering, not for the money it's going to generate. I think you're going to see Miller against Joshua. Eddie Hearn's already started promoting that now, hasn't he? Miller gate crashed the uh, Povetkin party, didn't he? So I can see Miller against Joshua on the zone and on Sky Pay Per View. I can see Miller coming over to Joshua against Povetkin and screaming and ranting and raving and eating Burger King burgers. Or McDonald's and Eddie Hearn trying to get a commercial deal with the Simsers and uh, Ice Cream Man's here. Ice Cream Man. Ah, yeah, lovely. If I were up at my kids' house now, they'd be wanting an ice cream. I could see Eddie Hearn trying to get a commercial deal with McDonald's or Burger King or KFC for Big Baby Gerald Miller, but. I can't see Miller beating Joshua. I don't see Povetkin beating Joshua. I see Povetkin getting uh, beaten up over 12 rounds uh, and doing a parker. I see uh, Miller getting knocked out against Joshua. I see... I see nothing but trouble for Povetkin and Miller against Joshua. Last night's boxing, I just want to talk about two fights, the ones I watched. I didn't watch every single one. Liam Smith, I thought he put a brave effort up. Uh, he got beat. And now the Smiths against former champions, current champions and future champions. They've got no and 12, haven't they now? So, the Smiths have not got a win over a former world champion, a current world champion. Or a future world champion. Nought and 12 at top level. Now, is Joe Gallagher the man to take the Smiths forward? I don't know, but they're failing at top level, aren't they, with Joe? Joe's the next trainer at year. How did he get that award? Must have been Crawler. 
must have been a, cu a couple of wins crawler had. I don't know, he, didn't he go on a 40 I don't know winning streak fighting guys that were not elite? It must have been because Joe Gallagher with the Smiths has gone no and 12. So that means if Callum Smith loses to Groves, they've gone Norton 13. That's a shame that. Because I think Joe deserves better. Is it something the Smiths have got in, in the mental makeup? Or is it just unlucky? I don't know. I thought Liam Smith put a valiant effort up. Uh, I just didn't think he had enough to beat that kid. He were, he were fresher. So... It is what it is, isn't it? It's just one of them things, isn't it? Now I want to get to Tony Bellew. Ersk and Bellew. God. Well, Tony Bellew needs to stay off social media, in my opinion, and concentrate on being an happy person with, with all them free pay-per-view monies, with them free banks that he robbed, because they, he's had it off, cleverly, and the two A fights, free pay-per-views Tony Bellew's had. He has had it off, big time, let me tell you. Big, 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 big time. Unbelievable. The amount of money Tony Bellew's had for what? Tony Bellew's never won a belt that wasn't vacant. And he's now in the mix for Ersk, Tyson Fury, Andre Ward, Adonis Stevenson, and generally any guy over 40. So, or any guy in inactive or smaller who shot to bits. Tony Bellew is a promoter, isn't he? He puts his promoter's mask on, but I don't think he'd fight Ersk. I think he'd get beaten up too fresh. He's had 15 fights, Ersk. He's got no mileage on clock. And Tony Bellew. He definitely won't fight, fight Wilder, he says he's too big at 6 foot 7, but he wants to fight Tyson Fury 6 foot 9. I don't get that, do you? So I don't really know what, what to make of, of, uh, of boxing at the moment. It's all a bit of a... Uh, it's all a bit of a mess, isn't it, really? Eddie Hearn's not telling the fans the truth, is he? People need to understand that Eddie Hearn is an ex accountant's son. He's a numbers man. They look at the numbers. They study things, don't they? They study things. He's got a good PR in IFL. But Ersk calling out Tony Bellew after unifying the division is getting everybody into like a wet dream. Do you know what I mean? But... Will Tony Bellew say that Ersk is too big for him as a cruiserweight? Well, Ersk is saying he'll step up to the same fat, same weight that he fought Bellew at. So, who knows? But uh, I can't see the Ersk fight happening because it would finish off Tony Bellew, wouldn't it? And, it? and would he get the Tyson Fury fight after that? Probably, yeah, but he's not going to get the same money, in it. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm saying? But uh, Ersk calling Bellew out to unify. Well, that's that's uh, that tells you he's been told to do it, doesn't it, by uh, by Callis Howland. But uh, we'll see, won't we? Would Ersk beat Joshua? No, he, he isn't. He's not big enough. But could AJ live with the pace of Ersk? I don't even think Ersk could, could hurt Joshua. But we all know that Joshua doesn't like southpaws, don't we? That's why he never fought Ortiz. And I just don't think Ersk is big enough, really, to fight him. I don't think he's big enough to fight him. So... It is what it is, isn't it? But uh, it's all good. It's all good news, isn't it? Uh, it's all great, great. You know, uh, boxing's on a high. Uh, do you know what I mean? It's just one of them things, isn't it? But uh, people. Uh, 
Uh, people just need to get behind boxing. Somebody's put a, a video out of me saying saying the F word about four times uh, and then they've put Eddie Earn when Ersk hears uh, when Eddie Earn when he hears Ersk has called Gassier foul. Fuck! Fucking hell! People are just gonna, there's some sick people taking inserts and my videos are. Porky might as well block me now, like you do with everyone who disagrees with you. Obson needs his car clean now. <laughs> That's a good one, that, isn't it? That's a good one, that. I like that one. I like that one. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Porky may as well block block me now. Obson needs his car cleaned. <laughs> I'll just send him a picture, didn't I, of Dennis's car? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Hey. Hey, <laughs> God, there's some sick people, isn't there? Unbelievable. What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? Ultra Tech Sports Raw. They should have a super final boss stage for this cruiserweight WBSS final where the winner has to defend all four belts against Lawrence Acoli just to make sure the winning off Gassioff is the real champ. You don't think they're going to put Lawrence Acola near Earth, do you? Well, people are getting behind Yui Fury for, for Joshua for Old Trafford next year on social media. That's good. But, uh but yeah, it's uh, it's just one of them things, isn't it? One of them things. But uh, what can you do? It's what can you do? It's. Uh... Do you know what? I'm a bit disappointed actually uh, with social media at the moment. I spoke to somebody yesterday, and they uh, they told me uh, about somebody who I thought were all right, and uh, they've been sending me proper. Awful tweets off his other account. Guy who works in boxing and huh. so and then this guy who knows this guy very well told me and it makes you wonder what people uh, what sort of jealousy is about, isn't there? But it is what it is. It's onwards and upwards, isn't it? So, but I'm looking forward forward to uh, this week it's a new stage in my life uh, I'm going to be working with my mates and I'm not going to say you because it'll all come out in open who I'm going to be helping in boxing and I don't want to be the person that breaks the news so keep an eye out because you're going to see me bouncing about soon and it's nice that people can help you out in boxing and say do you know what I'm going to help you out because you're a good person and I like that because old Porky's not a bad lad after all is he but uh, which brings me to Liam Smith I feel for him and he'll come back again I want to see Liam Smith Kell Brook on BT Sport uh, there's a lot of rumours doing round that Kell Brook could leave Eddie Earn. well Let's hope he does leave Eddie Earn and go back to Frank and get the Liam Smith fight because that's a great domestic pay per view, isn't it? In my opinion, because he's not going to fight Khan, is he? He's not going to fight Khan. But these videos are going to be out Monday, Wednesday, Friday. There's three 30 minute videos, and this, I believe, is coming to the end. This 30 minute one. Uh, I've enjoyed doing it without having to put my ugly mug on the camera. Because let's face it, I'm not exactly Tom Cruise, am I? 
But uh, what can you do? What can you do? Oh, somebody showed me some love on Twitter. Oh, ain't that nice? Ain't that nice? But uh, Porky, you're a fat nobody. But I like your videos. Hope you're well. Oh, that's an half alright one, isn't it? I'll like that one. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next ten week. Uh, going to be very interesting. I'm going to be uh, doing a little bit and keeping my nose and snout about and my camera. I'm going to have access to certain things and I'm going to get myself even fitter. I'm enjoying training again. Uh, I don't mind the the pad work. I don't. Ma I'm not. I'm not a big lover of weights. But I'm training with a guy called the specialist. He's got me lifting a lot less. But they call it less for more, don't they? You don't need to bounce 80 key, 100 key off your chest to be strong. You need 40, 450 key, and to do it concentrated. I'm learning that, and I'm getting some good results. And I'm happy with my fitness at the moment. I do miss going out and having a drink and. I don't miss getting partying and then going home and looking through fucking blinds all night, paranoid to death. So I don't miss that. And I don't miss spending £200 a weekend on that shit. So, big turning point in my life three years ago. So, I'm in a good place. I'm in a right good place at the moment. But uh, I'm looking forward to the next 10 week, And I'm very, 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 very happy. Things are going really good. Car pictures going good. I know somebody uh, stabbed some of my tyres the other day down there. But what that's what you get in it. Probably somebody off one of my porky fans. But I had four spare tyres. So, given me by a kid part warns. We got them on, it's space of an hour. So, and cars just been sold, so it's all good. Big padlock, big padlock down there now, and cameras up. But that's life, in it. That's what you get in it. It's life's full of horrible people and there's a lot of keyboard warriors about isn't there but am i a keyboard warrior for criticizing eddie hearn or a blogger for doing these videos cr criticizing pay-per-view well we're paying 20 pound aren't we for pay-per-view 20 pound for pay-per-view but what are you getting for it we're getting everybody's favorite weightlifter fighting nobody's aren't we so it is what it is in it that's just my opinion so Peace out. Shout out to at lead right Rico who's going to put these into Monday, Wednesday and Friday. These free 30 minute videos or free 29 minute videos. If this goes off at any stage in a minute I just want to say goodbye to you all. And there will be three more videos done for next week. And there's going to be some footage from the gym this week and you're going to see me bouncing about. So I'm going to be helping one of my closest friends in boxing. So... All the best to all you porky followers. I'm not going to call you fans because I'm not famous. I'm just a fat kid on a weird camera who knows it. Oh, fucking unbelievable. Who knows his, who knows his stuff? Shit.